Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server avatar or bucket plug tutorial. If you join me for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do these every week. If you're tuning in last week, I started a voting for the next 10 plugins. Now this one was not at the top. It actually did not kind of put them together like uh, the results like that I thought it would. So I have to manually do that. So hopefully I'll have that list by the time this video goes live and then uh, next week we'll start on that this one actually shows up in that list so it's jumping to the front uh, this is title manager as suggested by Jimmy Pizzle and uh, Dark Bear MC so if you have a uh, plugin that you'd like to suggest feel free to comment that in the jibbles below that would be the comment section for you new people and I will I will capture that and give you a shout out like I did to Jimmy and Dark when I get to it, got quite a backlist, which is awesome. I kind of just it, duplicate ones kind of come to the top. Any of that are really popular come to the top. Um, got quite a few on that list of the next 10 that are very popular. Going to take some time. So we're going to see how that goes. No Cheat Plus, I know, is one of them that will take a while to learn and then get the uh, tutorial out. So anyway, this one is by uh, Puhair Source. Pu Puhar Source. I I don't know how to pronounce your name. Sorry. This is Title Manager if you haven't picked up on that yet. And what it does is it allows you to put welcome and for first join title messages or in the action bar. You can broadcast messages over over the titles, which is really awesome. So if you want to announce that something's going on on your server, you can put that in there. Um, what else can you do? You can do custom header and footer. And that's kind of one of the thing, reasons why I put this towards why I'm doing this one is because my previous custom header footer one uh, doesn't work in 1.8 for some weird reason so this one does also gives you some animation options and it does it's it has an API so it hooks in with other plugins other plugins will call it and tell it to broadcast title messages on behalf of them one of them being inventory full um, which is how I came across this one but anyway let's get into it i'll show you guys a little bit so there is our title bar you have the the first three lines of being custom and then this animation going on the bottom which is really cool i'll show you guys how to do that in a moment first let's talk about some commands so the uh, shortcut is tm so you can do you can always do tm reload which is a common command so if you make any changes on the config you can reload there you can do tm message and then a player so let's just do myself um as for Christ, oh, there we go, test, so that shows up there, if you want to do a subtitle, so it's like, you know, like, all that stuff, you got to do uh, this carrot, or whatever, I don't think it's carrot, NL, which stands for new line, and then that again, and then hi, and then that will do that, now color codes do work in here, so you can do the, um, there we go, um, you can also do, uh, I think you could do um, variables in here even, so that's pretty cool. Now that might, this might be helpful to broadcast to a specific user if you want to warn them or something, just to make sure that they see that. If you have a lot of people on, they might not be able to see that uh, you're talking to them or whatever. Uh, you could do that. You could do TMBC, which broadcasts to everybody. Once again, that new line thing does still apply. You just don't have to put the username in there. You can do uh, TMABC and then the message, and that's going to broadcast uh, an action bar to everybody. So it's just going to be uh, TMBABC uh, test. And then that's, that's what it means by the action bar is that little thing there. Then you can do, uh, let's see, what else you do? You can do a message, so you can send it to a specific user on the action bar. That's a message. Same thing applies. You can do the new line there for subtitles. And then you can do animations, and what that will do is just list the animations available to you. Now, it's just two of them because that's the default two that are set up. Now, let's talk about perms here before we get into the configuration file and really... Uh, the meat and potatoes, as they say, of this of this plugin. So, the perms are title manager dot command dot whatever the action is that they need to do. So, if it's reload, broadcast, message, a broadcast, a message, and animation, uh, animation. So, so I know, you know, this would just some ideas of it. If you have a prison server, it might be cool to give your your guards the um, 
the message command or the a message so that they can that's how they would warn people if they're carrying a weapon or breaking a rule or something like that so then you have no doubt in your mind that they saw that because it's big freaking letters in front of them. Pretty basic for the perms. So let's hop over to the config file and take a look. So once again, after we start this plugin, it does work in 1.8. If you want to use it in 1.7, the author suggests using an older version, the 1.1 uh, point whatever to use that if you're using it in 1.7. Um, but I prefer, you know, I, I recommend people upgrade to 1.8 everything's going to 1.8 there really has never been in the history of minecraft a split on the versions the only reason it happened is because of the dcma and um people were wanting to use 1.8 yeah so upgrade to 1.8 you get the full functionality of minecraft of what's out there you don't have to hack anything together it's great everything's upgrading to 1.8 so Anyway, you go in your plugins folder and then it creates the title manager folder like always. We're going to open the config file, which we already have open. Pretty easy. You can enable and disable the plugin in here by doing uh, true or false. You can enable or disable the tab menu in here, which is true. So as you see, this is the header and you saw that, that we had three lines. So the way that you do multiple lines in here is this backslash n denotes a new line in this setting. And then here you saw that animation. Now, if you want multiple lines with an animation, you need to build that into the animation. You can't have multiple animations on this. So you can't do uh, backslash N and then a new animation just won't work. I've tried, just won't work. I could be wrong. If the author lets me know, I'll annotate it here. But if you want them to have multiple lines for the animation even if even if the other thing that you want to add it does not have an animation it's got to be built into the animation i'll show you guys how to do that in a moment so anyway you have your welcome message which you can enable and disable in here pretty straightforward that's the title and then the subtitle and then here's the variables which i'll put on the screen right here you have a whole list of variables as well as link in the gibbles to that variable list um it's really sweet if you want to use balance you're gonna need vault um, other than that, it doesn't really require Vault for anything else with this plugin, but if you want to be able to show the player's balance, you need Vault. And then uh, Fade In, Stay, Fade Out. Now, I'm not exactly sure what negative 1 stands for in here, um, but it seems really quick. If you do change this, it is in ticks. So a tick goes in 20 ticks per second in Minecraft. So if you want this to fade in over the course of one second, you would put 20 in here. If you want it to stay for one second, you would put 20 and then fade out over the course of 20 second or one second, you would put 20 in here. Hopefully that makes sense. And then you have your first join in here, which you can change color codes, all that stuff works. Um, Keep in mind, don't keep it too long because if a player hasn't resized their Minecraft window, it will go off the screen. Um, this is pretty much a good size for that. Um, and then number format, this is where you can modify where the commas are and the periods or anything like that if you want to put a... Uh, uh, pound sign or a dollar sign in front of that so if it shows the player's balance it will show the dollar sign in front of it pretty easy so let's hop over the animations that would be the last bit of this now the author does offer a website that you can punch in the animation that you want to do and then uh, do the fade in stay fade out and then the name and then uh, the text that is shown so the way that this works in here is each line this is your fade in ticks this is your stay ticks and then your fade out so these you know there's no fade in or fade out it stays for like uh, is that 0.1 second I think if I'm doing my maths right, that'd be 0.1 second. So two ticks, and then it goes to that. So that's how you get that back and forth thing. So if you want to build a, a stationary line in here, you would have to do like a test and then the new line in here. And then that would be in there. So that's kind of cool. And you can have as many animations as you want. 
um, and then that, this is just the format. So this is the name of the animation. This is the frames of the animation. Pretty easy. The link that the author has is right there. So let's hop back and wrap this up. So that's all I got for you guys. Hopefully you found it helpful and um, look forward to seeing the, the schedule here. Hopefully I'll have it done by the time this video goes live and you can uh, click on it in the, the jibbles and check it out. In any case, looking forward to uh, doing some plugins that you guys requested keep requesting them i capture all of those and i will get around to them eventually so this is cos from mcfriends reminding you guys all enjoy the game god bless <laughs> <laughs>